Katie, thank you. Well, this is our top story this morning, and you see this all over the country as well. Video from right here in our own backyard as roughly 25 pilot whales beach themselves on the shore of St. Simons Island. And we have spoken with several experts. They all believe that the whales may beach again this morning. And to verify this, on your side is Lana Harris with us live from the beach in St. Simons. What is happening right now? I've heard you may actually see a whale there. Yeah, good morning. We did unfortunately see one um, just by the water. We couldn't get there with the camera just yet. Well, we'll try to move a little closer um, in our next hit at 6 o'clock. But there is one, unfortunately, that is down there that is dead. And that's the second one we know that has died um, of all the ones that were beached. Um, now, we talked to a guy who is just coincidentally out here. He's a, a marine life expert, and he told us that he was staying overnight just to check and see if they would come back, and he did see them at the crossing by the pier around 1 a.m., so he believes they may come back out here. He didn't necessarily see them go out, but he heard them, um, so we'll still be on the lookout for that. But we also spoke to Dr. Quentin White, who's the director of marine research at JU, and he says it's disturbing because you just don't want to see animals suffer and die like this. They need the water, which is why he says it was good that all those people did their best to keep water on them and push them out. Dr. White says the weight of their body is just so heavy they can suffocate and die. We're told they can get dehydrated. So why whales would beach themselves like this is still a mystery and there's no way to know what preceded it. Now what is known is that pilot whales reportedly have a herd mentality, so they follow the leader. And so if the leader beaches, they may all beach. There have been reported instances where hundreds of whales have died doing this. Now, possible theories include everything from an injury or parasite infecting the leader, making it sick and disoriented, following prey too close to the shore, a pollution problem, or a navigational error. And here's more from the people who are out there. It was really cool to see that many big animals in one spot at the same time. And then it was really exciting to see everybody trying to help them. But then at the same time, it was sad that they didn't leave, that they didn't swim away, and we don't know why. Now again, lots of people came out here to try to help them. We do not know yet if they will come back. We are still on lookout, and again, there have been two that have died in this. One was euthanized because it was injured, and the other one again has died right on the beach out there. Here in St. Simons Island, I'm Lana Harris, First Coast News on your side.